hello you're welcome to this video um, in this video we're going to learn how to uh, track a conversions how to you know um, track every conversion that we're gonna get because if you are running an ad and then you are not tracking your conversions either if it is sign up or clicks or page views if you're not tracking your conversions you are wasting your money okay because you have to track your conversions you have to know what how the customers is converting what the customers it is doing on your landing page and how they are coming in you got to track every single step every single actions their customers are taking so having a tracking code on your website is going to help you to achieve that so what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to create a a u tag here on um, big ad would they call it a u tag while uh, on the Facebook we call it a PZ and uh, you know and other stuff. So what we are going to do is uh, once you are you know, once you've logged in, I believe by now you have set up your payment method. Please, if you haven't do that, go ahead and set up your payment method now because we are going into the uh, you know into the main stuff how you can you know set up uh, uh, your your tag and then set up a conversion and start running ad so before you can run ads you must make sure that you add a payment method but for the purpose of this training i created this video so i don't i'm not gonna i'm, go, I'm not gonna use this uh, account to run a view you know ad that would you know for any purpose you know because i already have an account already so that is why i'm not adding any payment method here so but uh, as for you since you are going to be using your own to run an ad i will advise you to go and make sure you add a payment method so you can do that so what we are going to do is you are going to see a tools here tools click on the tools and then under the tools you will see under conversion tracking you can see conversion tracking you're going to click on uet click on uet so um scroll down a little bit then you're going to see create uet tag we're going to create a new one you can just give it a name you can give it a name um you can give it something like maybe um you can just put a name of your website fix cash system so good you can just click on don't bother yourself about the descriptions you just click on save good so they say we have to copy this link now and put it at the header tag of our website so that they can start tracking every actions on our website so what we are going to do is um me i don't usually put something like a code like this on my own website uh what i do is there is a they you can if you see here there is a specific code here you can copy the code copy the code from here so you, you know copy the code from here copy the code from here and then open your website good so what we are going to do here is to go under plugin so we are going to uh, click on under plugin add new add new click on add new and then under the church here you can you can type something like um, pixel pixel let me see okay you will see it here easy pixel sorry easy pixel you will see the plugin here easy pixel so click on install the plugin then activate it good so we have the plugin activated right now and if you can see it here you if you can look very well you will see it here easy pixel by Zev, zevnet so click on settings here so this thing now we can use it to, to you know to um you know we can instead of we copying this code here and put it on our on our website because we already have a lot of code here and you know to avoid having some challenge some coding challenges so what i do is i find out about this uh, plugin and then it has been it has been working for me and uh, i really love it because it saved me a lot of times you know to copy pixel and you know facebook pixel google pixel and other stuff so you can easily you know come to this place like this one 
come to this like this one and then you put and then you put the uh click on make sure you enable Bing ad tracking and then you paste the code that we copied this code the code here that we copied today make sure under this Microsoft advertising enable Bing ad tracking so you enable it and then you paste the code then come down here and click on settings good now we have the code on our website right now so you can just click on cancelled so if you check here under the distance here it, it is telling us that there it is unverified it will take like two hours to three hours for them to verify the code so you have to make sure that you go to your website so that um they they can start tracking everything on your website right they can start tracking the, their pixel could start firing on your website so in the next two hours now they are going to verify this okay they're going to verify this the next two hours they're going to verify this and then the another thing you need to do here is you have to go to under plugin again go to under plugin and then add new plugins so you are going to you are going to upload this um this plugin called um under the bonus material that you downloaded under the uh the bonus material that you downloaded you will see a plugin here called under plugin you will see um a uh, a pixel pixel your site pixel your site make sure you upload make sure you upload that plugins so click on upload and then click on select a plugin uh you click on select file then go under download so you uh, make sure you uh, extract this thing i, I explain how you can extract it in other video and then make sure you extract it and then you click on click on it so you will see plugins so you, here is a pixel your site pro pixel your site uh, this, this plugin is a is a is a premium plugin and then i bought it with my money that i'm giving it to you for free okay so just click on it you have to install it so wait for it to upload We have to use it to track some, you know, some uh, some conversions and, uh, you know, from Facebook and Google's and other stuff. So it's a very powerful plugin. So let's wait for it to load. Good. So once it it finished loading, they will tell you plugin installed successfully. Click here to activate it. Good. Now we have activated the pro versions. Now we have activated the pro version, so we can just go under. Um, so we can just go. You will see it here and pixel your site. Click on dashboard. okay okay they told us that the the the, the pixel uh the the lenses have been activated right activated lenses are not much okay i'm coming go to plugin again and then we install the the normal one i'm coming install upload and then go to under then we install the 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 free uh, this thing you know we have the pro and then we have this so we have to install the second one here wait for it to upload please good so click on activate it here activate plugin Good. Now we have the two plugin installed on our website right now. If I turn on to the side, previously declaring all my data. So what is going on? Can you see? I can do error.
Okay, good, good. We have successfully installed the. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong here. Yeah. Okay, now it is working perfectly. The plugin is working perfectly, as you can see. So the provision has been installed. The provision has been installed, as you can see. Um, so what we are going to do right now is you can see the provision has been installed. The provision. If you go on that plugin again, you will see. So the pro we installed the production and uh, this ordinary one is not working. I don't know what is wrong, but we can just omit it. You can just leave it or delete it. So you go back there again. You can see that the plugin has started working perfectly. You can see. So um, for those of you that that would you know like to install a pixel in the future, you can just copy your pixel code and paste it here. For those of you that would like to install the Google Ad uh, this thing tag in the future, you can just put your code here and all the stuff. You don't have to go and you know copy a pixel code and then you paste it to your website team and all the stuff you can just use a code okay so this one will also work like the first one we up we we it, it work like the the easy pixel plugin that we installed earlier so what we are going to do right now is to uh go back to our our uh, microsoft advertising account and then we have to set up our conversions right now how do we set up the conversions click on tools again and then under the conversion tracking you will see conversion goals so we're going to set up a goals right now click on conversion goals and then the the, the uh, then you scroll down a little bit and then right now as you can see you can see that we don't have any conversions yet so you can click on create conversion goals good so we are going to name our conversions as maybe something like uh, maybe a sign up or a lead you can just name it anything maybe lead or anything at all so um you scroll down and then you leave it to this destination url okay you leave it to this destination url you wanted to tag you wanted to target a particular url if you wanted to target a particular url maybe if you want to target anything that happens on that particular page maybe if it is when someone sign up you wanted to know if someone signed up on that page. You wanted to know if someone visit that page. You wanted to know how many people that visit that page. So if you wanted to know everything, then you select this destination URL. Then you scroll down and you click on next. Boom. So on on this on this place, they are going to tell you to select a destination URL. You are going to see something contain contain. You are going to select contain. So let's say you wanted to tag this particular um. Let's say we wanted to create an ad for these three best credit company and their services. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy our link. Let's say we wanted to we wanted to target anything that happens on this particular page. Let's say we have a, a, a you know a form on this page and want people to register or fill so we can we can we can track how many people that register. You know we can tag everything. We can we can. We can, you know, get all the calculations on our Google advertising. So we are, what we are going, what we need to do is to select our, um, is to select our, our link here. Copy the link. I'm coming. Paste. So you have to remove it. You have to remove this HTTP. You have to remove it. You have to remove it. You have to remove it and then you select copy this one like this you copy it and then remove the www or https and then you copy it like this you come to this place like this one and then you paste it paste it okay so you paste the the, the link here so one want to track any actions on this page then the categories, the goals. This is what we wanted to do exactly. Let's say we want to we want to track track every purchase, anything that people buy on this page. We wanted to track it, or let's say we wanted to uh, if someone add anything to cart on that page, if someone begin a checkout, if someone subscribe on that page, if someone book an appointment, if someone submit a leave. But let's say we wanted to you know wanted to okay. Let's just select um. A subscribe 
let your seller subscribe baby let if someone subscribe on that page what i mean by that is let's say let me show you one of my page that has a uh, you know a, a form where people can you know subscribe so let's say i'm tracking this uh, this thing now a subscriber this thing a subscribe on this page so if someone click on this now and then fill their information this is what they call subscribe so this google ad is going to track it if someone do that it's going to tell me someone just do that it's another person that is going to tell me so you'll be able to track all the sign up or subscribe so let's subscribe let's click on subscribe first and then here scope it, it select an existing account which is fixed class system so um and then revenue they say we should enter how much conversion was in your business no click on don't sign a value i don't like that and then count this here means uh or for example if one person if one ad click to uh you know what, what this means is that if someone if someone come to come to this page two times do you want being ad to tell to count it as one or you want being ad to count to count it as two so that is what i mean here so i would like to count it as one if someone come to this page maybe the same person come to this page three times i want being ad to count it as one so we can leave all this one like this one leave all this one like this and then you make sure you select the right ut tag and then now they say we should copy this code here and then paste it on our side so once you are done let's copy this code again and then click on save click on save so once you once you copy the code you can just go into your um go into your website and then you click on under post here under post or post remember this is the link that this, remember the link that uh, the page that wanted to track is best three best credit repair uh, and services so you have to open the post which is the this is the, this is the, the post here three best credit repair company and uh, open the link open the post then you scroll down 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 so you will see pixel your site headline and footer so microsoft told us to in, to 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 inject the code into our header tag the uh, the distinct code the, the conversion code that to, they told us to inject it into our website so now we can tag a, a subscriptions a purchase and everything uh, 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 and code so what we are going to do is they say we should put the code on the header tag so they say we should put the code on the header tag on that of that particular post or page so we have to you know under the post here under that particular post here if you remember here is the headline remember three best credit you can see so it is we are still on the same post so you scroll down and then you will see pixel your size then you click on this uh, little icon so it will bring out a page where you can you can see header you can see header header tag here is the header tag you can see on desktop on this but here is a you know any device so you, you paste the code here you can paste the code here paste the code here the code that we copy from uh, this code then after you have copied the code you can close on you can click on save so you come back to this place you come back to uh this, your blog after you have placed the code you can just come back to this place and then you click on update it so done we have successfully uh created a conversions goals right now so here is our conversion goals as you can see here is our conversion goals but it, it said no recent conversions you have to give it some time for it to start especially when you start running at night to start counting the conversion if you start counting how many people that are that are subscribing on our page and if it is purchase that you, you wanted to track it will start counting how many people that are, how many purchases that you have gotten from your um ad so that is how to create a conversion. You can select conversion, you can select purchase, add to cart, any action that you wanted to track on your website, you can use that method to track the actions. So that is how to uh, uh, set up a tracking code on our website with Bing Advertising Platform. So thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to see you in the next video.